that more than that. You like that one? Yeah. Yeah, it's definitely prettier, but this one looks more like it's ready to go. Yeah. Alright, I'm gonna do the rest of that. One. definitely love these nut zerts. They're, they're a captive nut that gets compressed. Uh, you saw us using the tool earlier. They're awesome. As much as I mentioned earlier about trying to keep this thing original, I don't mind poking a few holes here and there for just the right fitment and to secure some of these parts like the battery charger and also the batteries themselves. Each one of the batteries is bolted or will be uh, once I get, you know, got to wiggle this a little bit more and uh, hold your tongue right. Uh, get, get that one bolted in. Each one has a bolt on either side, plus they're going to be bolted along these rails here up at the top uh, to tie them together as one larger uh, battery pack. So I'll, I'll leave a link down at the bottom so that you can find these and the tool to insert them. And a lot of the tools come with uh, an array of different diameters and sizes for you to play around with. And they're great for rapid prototyping, or in our case, you know, building an electric car. You just drill the appropriate hole, slide it through, crimp it down, and, and you're off. Uh, they hold really, really well. By my account, we've made quite a bit of progress today, uh, or at least in this installment of the MG Midget conversion. The batteries come in and out and in and out a few times, but I think it's in its final uh, resting place here, as soon as we get these bolts situated. The charge will need to be wired up. I'm waiting on a couple of extra of the large terminal lugs to crimp on the high voltage lines in the backside. And when I do, and when on our next installment, I'll be powering up the uh, the motor controller, inverter, and moving this thing around on its own power again. And then lastly, I don't know if we'll do it in the next installment or a one, uh, an additional one after that, I guess it depends on how much work is in there. We'll start to work on getting this thing plumbed in and run some water over it. I was rereading re the, um, the data sheet for this motor and they advised never to be running it dry, so we'll at least have something moving through it. I don't know if we're going to go with a big old radiator as we've had before. I kind of like the idea of how small this looks in its uh, in its original bay here. Uh, might relocate the heater core that was sitting up here and move it down. We'll play around with it. So if you want to see more goofy stuff like this or watching me struggle along as I learn to weld and 
fiddle around with this stuff. Uh, make sure that you subscribe and follow along to one channel projects.